Future films. They use a few DeLoreans for the Back to the Future movies. You may have seen another one earlier today. Uh, we have one inside the Universal Experience, which is a museum on the lot right next to the Transformers ride. We have some drift racers from the Fast and the Furious films. We have the Black Charger that Vin Diesel drove in the first, the Fast and the Furious. And Fast and Furious 6 comes out theaters next month. We're a team of highly coordinated drivers. I took down a military convoy. I need your help, Don. Full partners all the way around. On the left side of the tram, in the second Jurassic Park, The Lost World, that's the mobile laboratory that Julianne Moore, Jeff Goldblum, and Vince Vaughn are trapped in while a dinosaur pushes it off the side of a cliff. We even have dinosaurs up in this area. Spinners! Attacking us from both sides. Why do dinosaurs keep spit on us? That's the second time that's happened. They're still spitting. That's why I have a window. Work, guys, can you go ahead and take a bow? Yeah. All right, show them what else you can do. <laughs> this type of special effect is called motion control because all of this motion is controlled by a computer. So every movement that you see right now is programmed into a computer which is connected to the arms under the cars. The arms can now move the cars around in any programmed position but you wouldn't see the arms in a movie or TV show because later they'd be completely erased with the help of computer effects digitally. So it's pretty cool stuff. The cars are going to reset. Go right back down to the starting position. You guys are lucky. You only have to listen to that song. What? But the reason we've stopped the tram, I want to show you what it looks like on film. Okay, here it is on the monitors. That's where we're stopped right now, right at the bottom of the hill. When they film out here, they always keep the cameras at the bottom of the hill. Look at that. Al Roker just predicted a flash flood. It started raining really hard. There's a problem with rain in this part of the back lot because the set is built on a hill, and during the heavy storms, we have been known to have flash floods. You might want to be careful if you're sitting on the left side of the tram. Watch the top of the hill. Keep your cameras protected so they don't get wet. There is a flash flood coming right towards us. Because it's usually seen as Mexico in productions. Off to the left, you may have seen that set in the film's Three Amigos. Used A movie was just filmed on the street called Saving Mr. Banks, which is a movie about the making of the movie Mary Poppins. It stars Tom Hanks as Walt Disney. That's going to be coming out in theaters in December. Uh, a lot of famous cowboys made movies out in that area over the years. Jimmy Fallon mentioned John Wayne and Jimmy Stewart. Also Kurt Douglas and Clint Eastwood. These are... Right here, there's a boat. That's the Venture. This is the boat that the crew rode on to get to the island. And then behind it is a small section of the island. If you have any personal belongings on the floor of the tram that you don't want to get wet, just as a precaution, until we get through to the other side, we recommend that you pick the items up. Water usually doesn't get on the floor, but we give the warning just in case. And now that you can see what the set looks like up close, I'll show you what it looked like in the movie. 
a play scene from King Kong involving the set. They filmed it at night. They brought in fog machines to create a thick layer of mist. And they used sprinklers to create rain. And here it is. That's our miniature boat. That's a very tiny man in Siberia known as Little Europe. Now Little Europe is going to be another quiet zone. In just a moment, we're going to curve around to the right. And we're going to be driving next to a house on the west side of the tram that doesn't look like it belongs in this area at all. These are all old sets. We're going to be driving by a branch. See that? That is an earthquake. Can we get a picture of you over by the tram before you finish? No, he's busy. Okay. Uh, it's still a great photo opportunity. The house from Psycho at the top of the hill, the Bates Motel right next to us. Norman's carrying a dead body out of one of the woods. Why does he do that in front of us? That's awkward. Norman Bates. There's like 170 people on this tram and they're watching you apparently dump a dead body in the trunk of the car and these people have cameras you have a knife i didn't take people back in the fourth car they're far away from me they took most of the pictures that was close norman norman don't do that hey hey that's creepy <laughs> And look at all of this destruction behind all this house. Norman didn't do this. Aliens did this. Aliens shot down an airplane and it crashed right in the middle of a neighborhood. It destroyed all the houses in War of the Worlds. This is going to be a little picture stop. We're going to stop the tram for a minute. Don't stand up yet. But now we're on a complete stop. If you want, you can stand up on the tram, get some pictures, and I'll show you what the set looked like in the movie. This is War of the Worlds. Thank you. 